I'm, I'm sensing that some of you, I mentioned with the other reading, there is, um, you know, you're, you're visible. You're visible in your work environment. If you have success, everyone will know about it. And if you make mistakes, everyone will know about it. So I feel like, you know, you, you have the spotlight kind of shown upon on you. And it can be a double-edged sword. And I feel like in the relationship sector, the same energy applies. Because I feel like your partner is um, your car your partner is not a confrontational person for those of you in a relationship okay so this is a marriage partner or a um, just a relationship partner that you've been with for some time okay like I would say um, a year or more and you know that's when they know you well they know your quirks they know your actions they know your motives so, so they have a pretty good understanding of you and what I'm feeling is I feel like they're they're watchful so tread carefully they might be a little bit jealous that uh, there are a lot of you know it whatever for whatever reason there are a lot of people around you at work they might be jealous or they might feel a little bit insecure and uh, I feel like you're dating somebody who's very proud. They will never admit, you know, that they're jealous. They will never succumb to these baser desires. But a lot of the times when we suppress things, it comes out in other ways. So I feel like you're dating someone who's quite honorable, who compliments you well, who's quite stubborn, and who is... Um, I want to say like who some who is somebody that you trust but whether or not they can afford you the same amount of trust that's another story so I feel like that might be an issue okay like trust but it's not coming from you it's coming from the partner and then I'm also feeling as well they might be indirect you know they might be they might mean one thing and say another they're they're quite indirect when it comes to their approach or when it comes to the way that they interact with you so i feel like that's another source of contention but overall i don't see a lot of problems in relationships overall i just feel like you know it's a more career work oriented type of a month rather than relationships but let me just see And they're also saying as well, you have somebody that compliments you well. So wherever you might find yourself very soft-spoken or very soft, I feel like they might play the strict, the firm persona in your life. Wherever you might have you know, felt bad and you might have been pulled or called upon to do something out of a, a sense of emotional obligation, I feel like the partner is a lot more pragmatic, practical, and they might try to steer you to do something else instead so I feel like they compliment you well but they're a little bit more strict that's what it feels like to me so let me just go into this relationship um, reading so the foundation we have here the ten of cups and the ten of cups is a situation where two people are just um, in harmony with one another and I feel like this is a relationship where if you've been with somebody for like more than a year, this is indicative of long-term stable relationship partner where you both can definitely go the distance together and there's a lot of love, there's a lot of um, this sense of like caring and nurturing one another and uh, you both inspire each other to achieve more in life because there is definitely a lot of guidance, a lot of emotional support in this card okay and and with the ten of cups it's a happy home happy family you know there might be children in the picture and there's a lot of harmony overall and i feel like the bottom line it, with this in the foundation is you have somebody that believes in you and you have somebody that is giving you a lot of encouragement and a lot of support and that's why the relationship works and as with every relationship there are squabbles there are arguments there are 
even at times, you know, misunderstandings, right? But I feel like you're able to kind of take the moral high road and sail on past it. And I also feel with this card, it basically means taking trips together with your uh, partner, planning trips together, taking trips together, and um, going out to see the world together. So I feel like there's a lot of harmony for those in marriage situations and also in committed relationships. In the past position, we have here the Four of Pentacles, and the Four of Pentacles is kind of like hanging on to our beliefs, hanging on to our ideologies, and not being able to see things from another person's perspective. So it's like being stubborn, being obstinate, and also, um, I also feel like this is your energy where you're really, really stuck in the things that you believe in, and you don't really change. And I also feel as well, this is kind of like clinging on and, and possibly being a little bit too smothering. And if it's somebody who's clinging on and who is a little bit smothering, I feel like it's your relationship partner. There was conversation um, that was talked about. You know, like you might have told them you need to loosen up or they might have told you you're a little bit too rigid. You need to change. So I feel like there was a mutual agreement or a mutual like... Um, or a mutual, like, um, I want to say, like, a resolution that was reached between you and another person. And as a result of it, I feel like the relationship now is very buoyant and you're able to see each other from, you know, mutual perspective. So I do see there is a loosening up, not being, not uh, wanting to control the situation. And then I also feel like if, on the other hand, your partner is very jealous or they are very clingy, I do feel that they're also starting to loosen up as well. So there's something here where I feel like you're approaching the relationship with a new way of doing, and it's just you and also your partner as well. So it, it makes the relationship a lot more lighthearted, a lot more fun, a lot more enjoyable. Um, there could also be, you know, like a loosening up when it comes overall to work responsibilities, household responsibilities. And as a result of it, I feel like it frees up the time for you to really enjoy your partner. In the present environment, we have here the Six of Cups. Six of Cups usually indicates, you know, a blast from the past. And we are in the Mercury retrograde for the majority of this month from the 2nd, December 2nd, until the 23rd. So this is usually, you know, uh, inform um, like messages, communication, thoughts, um, emails, whatever form it takes of somebody from your past and I feel as well when you get these messages it does stir up some really good feelings you know it does bring back like that sense of nostalgia but it's linked up here with the tower and the tower in the reverse is your own sense of knowing your own sense of like I know this is not a good person for me so I'm just gonna leave it at that I'm not gonna respond I'm not going to continue with the communication with them okay so i feel like there's a blast from the past it hasn't been that great and you're looking at the situation realistically and you're just like even if we were to uh, rekindle the relationship it's really not going to go anywhere so i feel like yes you do care about them but you might not want to take them back as a relationship partner because i feel in the past you have already moved away from this and for some of you we have here a water sign. So the Knight of Cups, this is a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This is somebody who's quite sweet, very, very charming. They wanna wish you well, they have a good heart generally. They, they do have a good heart, but um, they could be like, um, they could be a little bit more on the flirtatious end, okay? And I feel like this is somebody who's quite good looking, quite attractive, and for, for whatever reason, linked up with the Strength card. I feel like they're quite, I don't know why, but they say like, oh, it might be from the strength card. Um, they say like physically very stunning. Somebody who's, who's uh, you know, fit, who's very much into fitness, who's very fit, who's very, um, you know, has a good physique, takes care of themselves, is very mindful and watchful about what they eat, how they dress. And so, you know, they're generally very, very attractive looking, whatever that means to you. I feel like they're, you know, quite look good looking. And then I also feel as well, some of you, this could, this is the sign of Leo, okay? So a Leo reaching out with a message here of love, of, um, I want to say taking the relationship to the next level. So 
if you're dealing with that Leo, I, I also feel like, you know, they, they dress really well. There's an element about them being a little bit too mindful of the way they look. They might be a little bit more, just like, um, they care a, about appearances a lot, which can be good. It can be good or it can be bad. Okay. On the good end, you know, they, they care about the way they look on the, on the more negative side of that. They might be a little bit more, um, superficial. So take that with a grain of salt. And um, I feel like there is going to be messages coming in, communication and things like that. And if you're in a relationship with them, I feel like it could also bring about a trip or it could bring about, you know, some type of an activity where the two of you can take trips together, where the two of you can, you know, see the world together, see sights together. Um, but I do feel like for those of you, if you have recently broken up here with the full card, if you're newly single, you're thinking heavily about a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or a Leo person who's also in the picture. What's coming in for you, especially for those who are dating? I have here the King of Swords. This is an air sign. Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra. And uh, this is not somebody that you want to get involved with, okay? Um, kings are very, very smart, and so is this person. So this can be male or female. But this is somebody who is like, I, I think of them as like a military general, like the ends justify the means. And when it's in the reverse, they're very, very unclear about their communication. They talk in circles around you. They're very, very intelligent. So it's hard for you to corner them. And when it's reverse, it can also show somebody who's not very honest, who's a little bit deceitful, who's a little bit um, manipulative. And it's like distorting the truth, lying by omission, or somebody generally who is not really on your wavelength because, you know, you value frankness and directness. And so if this is an ex, it very could be, it could be for some of you, um, I feel like you've already broken up, you know, the, the, the cord of attachment, you've already removed yourself because it's ultimately a very toxic environment but i also feel like they have this sense of power over you so you need to be very careful about not giving your power away to this person and if it's that blast from the past and you're giving it another go very soon afterward you're going to realize oh no there's the same cycles there's the same energy there's that same sense of me feeling disempowered and trapped in the relationship and especially trapped in the way that they communicate with you because you're not getting straight answers from them okay so that's just something i want you to be very careful about but i feel for those in relationships relationships seem to be going really swimmingly well uh new people who are just you know newly single you have somebody that you're thinking about you're very very attracted to and you do have a blast from the past go with the new person let the old person go because i feel like some of you might be tempted i feel like you know you're rational you know this is not something that you want to get into here with the tower in the reverse it's like this sense of foreboding this sense of knowing oh no it's not going to work out the second time around but the memories that you have might distort the reality of what you see okay so just something to be careful about um earlier i mentioned you know like leg injuries left leg i want you to be careful about falls and sprains uh don't overexert yourself if you are you know doing some physical activity especially on a first date or on a date um paddling biking hiking even just um you know be careful about where you walk just make sure you have comfortable shoes in your car in case you need to change shoes in case you need to change your equipment just you know shoes or equipment too so you need to make sure that you have comfortable shoes just so you know if you're not comfortable wearing heels you're not comfortable wearing dress shoes switch into something else so that you don't hurt yourself okay because i feel like there's this need here where you are doing a bunch of activities and you might want to impress or you might want to push the limits a little bit and I just don't feel like it's that great for this month, okay? If you want to push push your body past is the, the point of exertion, okay? So um, that's just something to keep an eye out for overall. 
um, the rest of the information is very, very good. So I do wish you all the best, okay? So once again, uh, happy early birthday and take care of yourself. Bye-bye.